Hi everyone, it's Brendan here from Measure Up. I'm the exercise physiologist. Now when you come in for your DEXA scan, one of the things that I've noticed that people aren't noticing is that they get a nutrition report from us. It's actually called the BC report and I'm gonna show you where we find it. So following the scan, and we'll go through all the details, you'll get an email from us. In the email, there's a small link. The link will take you to this web, web page. It's called scans.measureup.com.au. Um, once it takes you to this page, use your email and password to log in. If you're a first timer, it will also ask for your patient ID. It's a six digit number. Enter that, complete your details, and then press log in. Once you're in the login page, it'll, uh, the landing page gives you a summary of the scan that we've just completed. It'll have regional measures here and it'll have an overall measure results up here. But the important thing that people are missing is the takeaway, which is the nutrition report. So just go up here to the icon which says scans and BC reports, click on that, it'll open up this page. Now if you've had multiple scans, you'll have a list of all your reports. Uh, if it's just your first scan, you'll just have the most recent report here under the date. There'll be two reports that will be uploaded to your file. One's called the BC report, one's the DEXA report. The DEXA report is the number, is the report with all the numbers that we've gone through during the consult. The BC report is the nutrition guidelines that we prepare and we send out, and which is usually loaded to your profile before five o'clock each day. Now, once you open up that file, it creates, or it'll open up your nutrition report, which is uh, looks just like this. So the main things to look for uh, at the top is a bit of a summary of the details from your main uh, DEXA report. It'll summarize your body fat percentage and indicate which range you should be in. It'll have your estimated VAT, which is your visceral adipose tissue score. It'll tell you what risk profile you're in and give you a nice little graphic here showing you where you fall. This person falls within the increased risk category. The most important part of this, however, is this section here. This provides you the daily calorie target, which is set to support your goals. Now, during the consult, we'll talk to you about whether you wanna gain muscle, maintain, or lose fat. So this will be calculated to support that goal. In this instance, it's calculated as a calorie deficit to promote fat loss. What we also do, based on your measures, is allocate your protein, and then the rest is distributed to your carbohydrate and fat. So the important one for any goal, whether it be lean mass gain or whether it be fat mass loss or whether it be maintenance, is to maintain your protein intake and include some kind of resistance training each week. Your carbs and your fats are important macronutrients to support the energy requirements you have from a day-to-day -day basis. And this one here will support your absolute goal. There'll be a small description if it's for fat loss or for muscle gain but particularly for fat loss if you're targeting a particular body fat percentage. So you can see here in this example, to achieve your goals, you need to lose between five and six kilograms of fat tissue to achieve a body fat percentage of between 15 and 16%. So if you're looking for your take home and the way to implement um, something to achieve your goals, look for that report underneath the scans and reports icon located on your individual results portal.